Let's just get started. First thing here is the Farsali Unicorn Essence. Um, this I bought last spring during, not last spring, a couple months ago during the Spring Rouge sale. Um, I am going to hold on to this. It's good for 12 months. So this is obviously still safe for me to be keeping. So I will be keeping it. I do like it. I just don't crack it out all the time. Next is this. This is the Estee Edit Skin Glowing Balm with Pink Peony. I really loved this, obviously, as you can tell. There's a huge in here. However, I think this might have gone bad. One, because they don't make the Estee Edit anymore. And two... It's kind of developed a weird smell to it, um, but I really did love this stuff. It just, it gives your skin such a beautiful glow to it, um, but this is kind of, it's kind of separating now, and I've almost, obviously almost used all of it up, and plus, I think the Estee Edit is just totally gone now, so I'm just going to go ahead and put this into my empties pile. Next, I have this, which I haven't opened. This is the L'Oreal Magic Anti-Redness Correcting Primer. Um, there aren't very many drugstore color correcting primers out there, so that's why I bought this, but I haven't had a chance to test it out yet. Um, it's still taped shut up here, as you can see, so I'm gonna hold on to this for the future because I am looking forward to trying it out on camera. Next is the Marc Jacobs Undercover coconut primer something along those lines i don't know this font is too tiny to read on the bottom um i really do like this um i'm kind of a bigger fan of this when the weather is drier so kind of now starting into the fall and winter that's when this is perfect for my skin so i'm holding on to this for that so i will hold on to this this is the alme smart shade cc luminous primer i haven't touched this either yet it's still taped shut so i will go ahead and hold on to this for the future Next is the NYX Honey Do Me Up Serum Primer. I love this. It's one of my favorite drugstore ones, and this is actually a newer bottle. Um, so I am going to go ahead and keep it. These are clear for, I believe, 12 months as well. Yep, 12 months. So love this stuff. Next, let's just do this guy since it's in the front. This I will be getting rid of. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Face Primer for Combo Skin. This I think I'm allergic to. <laughs> Um, when I put it on my face, I kind of got a little itchy, and I'm just going to assume that it was this since the foundation I'd been using that day was one I'd used before and never had an issue. So I'm going to get rid of this one, plus it's probably expired because I've been holding on to it for an empties video, so let's just put it in the empties pile now. This, I love this little guy. Um, however, I probably do need to get rid of him since he's only good for 12 months. This is the Makeup Forever Step 1 skin base in the green color correcting. I will be repurchasing this in the future. It is one of my favorite primers. It's such a great thing if you're like me and you've got fair skin. Um, maybe if you've got like full blown, a very intense case of rosacea, you m still might not be a big fan of this. But for me with a milder case, it's, it's still really nice at color correcting and making my skin look nice and even. So I did like it a little bit from my cheeks and the tip of my nose. It's definitely probably expired. It kind of smells a little off too now that it's been opened. So yeah, I'm gonna put this in the empties pile. Next is this, this is a little sample pot and it's pretty, pretty well used. So I'm just gonna continue using it until it's gone. This is a small sample of the Josie Marin. Uh, I'm gonna get this wrong, the, oh God. There it is, the Surreal Skin Argon Finishing Balm. Um, like I said, I'm gonna keep this. I love this. It's great for a nice, hydrated, luminous base. I think if you're someone who really enjoys primer and skincare in one, this is a great product to try out. Next is this. This is the Tarte Clean Slate Timeless Smooth. <gasps> the Tarte Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer, which I've only used once, so I'm still trying him out, so he is going to be kept. Next is this. This I definitely probably should get rid of. It's gratis from Sephora. He needs to go. This is the Cover FX Calming Primer. This is a nice primer. I used it just because it was gratis at work, but this definitely, I think, has... Oof, yeah, that's gone bad. He needs to just go away. This one also is probably expired. This is the Maybelline Baby Skin. I don't even know if they still sell this. This one's probably gone bad, but this is definitely only good for, I think, 12 months, if I remember correctly, and I've had this for quite some time. He needs to go. Next is this, which is one of my favorites. I'm just gonna grab the other one while we're here. These are two of the Laura Geller 
um, spackle treatments. This one is the supercharged. This one's the redness. This is my current go-to redness one. So he will be staying. And I do love how this one feels. And he is definitely still good. Since these are good for 36 months. Holding on to this. Next is the Smashbox Primer Oil. This does have the sticker on from Sephora, but I didn't start using it until recently, so I am going to hold on to this. This is brand new, so I will be keeping it. This is the Stellar Brilliant Primer. I haven't even used this yet. It's brand new. I'm looking forward to trying it in a first impression. These guys are just little samples, none of which have been opened, so I'm just gonna hold on to them. We don't have to go through those. This one I'm going to get rid of. This is the Carez Greek Yogurt Face Primer. Um, it's a nourishing primer from a skincare brand, which is great. Carez actually makes a few different versions. So there's like a mattifying and acne, I think, anti-aging, and then this nourishing. So if you're looking for one to try out, and again, you like skincare primers, this is a great one to try. It does smell like yogurt though, so don't freak out when it smells like, you know, milk, kind of. And my camera's about to die, so I'm actually gonna charge it really quick and then I'll be back in a bit. Hey guys, so I didn't realize that I actually lost the last bit of footage here, so I'm just gonna really quickly run down the ones left in that little group there for you. So the ones that I got rid of would be the Maybelline Master Prime Blur and Smooth, which is right in the front and center there. Um, it's actually gone bad, and at that point I had to get rid of it. The other things I got rid of were the Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer, which is the grade two behind that one, just because it had also expired. And then behind that one, I know it's kind of hard to see, there is the Rimmel Lasting Finish, I believe is what it was called, um, which I just didn't like on my skin, so I decided to get rid of it. All the rest of them I decided to keep, so that was the three Becca Face Primers, the Backlight, First Light, and the new Velvet Blurring. I decided to keep the Tarte Smoothing Mattifying Primer, whatever it is in the purple bottle because it was brand new, the brand new Too Faced one, the Maybelline Blur and Illuminate, and I also kept the Cover FX Blurring Primer. And I also kept the First Aid Beauty one, which is a fantastic primer as well. So yeah, I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!